not Viking here. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to run uh, Fortnite through a uh, virtual machine, or at least uh, VMware. Uh, anyway, these are my specs for my host system. Uh, 16 threads, 5960X, uh, 64 gig RAM. I am running the virtual machine off this drive, which is off a USB 3.0 drive. Uh, we're in two GTX 1070s. My host machine is Windows 10. Um, the virtual machine is also Windows 10. But uh, once it loads, I'll kind of show you the specs or what I allocated to it. I can kind of show you here. Uh, memory, eight gig of memory. Processors, eight gig or eight gig, eight threads. Hard drive, I only got sixty or sixty gig. Uh, you know, allocated to it. Display, th accelerate 3D graphics. Uh, graphics memory allowed two gig. Uh, you know, of course, max resolution, whatever. So once this starts up, it might take a little while, might lag a little bit because I'm running off a USB drive, but it is possible to run this game on a virtual machine. Uh, some people I've, I've kind of encountered, they said it couldn't be done or they're having some weird error message, which I'm not exactly sure why they're getting a weird error message. But you also got, uh, was it the uh, Oracle VirtualBox? You can try that too, but I know the Virtual box it only allow, allows you to allocate only so much uh, memory to it or video memory to it, which I don't know if it's actually a problem because I don't know if that's actually a true limitation or not. But uh, yeah, so Windows 10 is running again, it's running off a USB drive, so it it probably will lag here and there. Uh, of course, I have allocated eight threads, eight gig of memory, 60 gigs of RAM, or RAM 60 gigs of hard drive space. Um, I didn't allow, I didn't, uh, I mean, I only got one monitor, so I didn't just dedicate one mouse and keyboard to the virtual machine because, I mean, there's no point on a single monitor. But my brother's computer, I did the exact same thing where they are actually running two instances of Fortnite, one on the virtual machine and one on the host machine at the same time. And I dedicated a separate keyboard and mouse to it. And of course, made a full screen. So one person's running off off of Fortnite off the one monitor, and the other one's running Fortnite off the other. So kind of works out pretty good actually. But they're running off an internal SATA drive. So where this I'm not. Um, I tried making this video earlier, and I had Fraps running, and it did not like Fraps at all for some reason. But Fortnite does run. So I'm gonna launch it, and it's gonna take a little while. Let's see what my drive is doing. It's not doing a whole lot. The latency didn't go up too much yet. It's starting to. Doesn't want to listen to me until it actually loads up. Or if it's actually loading up, might have confused it. There it goes. I am recording to the same drive that this virtual machine is running off of, so things are going to load a little slow. I don't, I don't play this game, so I, I'm kind of new to all the controls and stuff, so. It's just not a game for me, but. Uh, settings. I am running on the lowest I can possibly go, other than I'm going to turn this a little lower because. Maybe if I let me click it, there it goes. Really had the best possible chance it can have. As you see, it's a little laggy because it's on a hard, it's on a USB hard drive. If it was on a, a SATA drive, it would it would work a little better. Yeah, it does do that little weird thing. Yeah, 
I do this? There we go. What defines the rash and we gotta determine what the performance is. I mean, this is really isn't a performance test, but more of a uh, I can run it on a virtual machine test. See, it's a little laggy. Uh, definitely not playable right now. I'm sure full screen is going to be even worse. I'm going to try to. I won't even do it. It's, it's not exactly playable. I mean, the look at my other system, my hard drive is being like taxed out. Yeah, and I think it just crashed. I think it just crashed a VM, or the whole thing is like doesn't know what to do. We'll edit for it. See what happens. Well, it doesn't want to. Like I said, it, I'm recording off a USB drive, and USB has all kinds of problems with it running on a virtual machine. So, if I had a SATA drive, more space on my SATA drive, I'd, I'd do it on there. But this is just kind of a, a video to prove that you can run it off a virtual machine. So, and it won't even close. Power off. <laughs> I had to force close it. There it goes. So, yep, that's it. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you all have a nice day.